All right, Standard 21 is a continuation of the Cold War information, uh, just because the Cold War stretched over so many decades uh, of U.S. history. We started out with uh, the tension that rises in Cuba, and we mentioned the uh, Bay of Pigs uh, invasion and the attempted overthrow of Fidel Castro in Cuba, but that actually escalated to the point where uh, you had the Soviet Union and uh, the United States coming very close to a nuclear war. Thankfully, that did not happen, and uh, there was a um, deterring of that uh, from happening because the uh, Soviet Union agreed to remove their missile silos in Cuba as long as the United States agreed to remove theirs uh, from Turkey and Italy. So the next progression of the Cold War was the information about Vietnam. Now, Vietnam uh, has a ton of information, a ton of battles, and we went through some of those. We watched some video clips on some of those. But uh, the main two things that are involved in the standard itself are the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution. That's the one where he said teetering very close to the edge of, you know, trying to say we didn't start it, they did. Um, and that was the beginning of the war. And then the other portion was the Tet Offensive. And we said the Tet Offensive was the Vietnamese New Year, where the tide of the war changed in the American view of should we be there, or should we not. And so we start to lose support for the war effort uh, from more Americans after the Tet Offensive. During uh, the Cold War, we talked about how John F. Kennedy is attempting to get civil rights legislation passed. Uh, he was assassinated, and so that obviously changes uh, the ability to do so. And we mentioned you know, just the um, kind of unknowns behind that, but that Lyndon B. Johnson does become president after that, and that uh, he has the vision of the great society. So we mentioned to eliminate uh, racism and uh, civil strife and uh, the idealistic goals of uh, trying to eliminate poverty. And so we talked about the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the Voting Rights Act of 1965, Head Start, Medicare, Medicaid, so a lot of information uh, under the great society. Then the debates on television between John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon. We got to watch the digitally remastered version of that and kind of see how that swayed the American people to uh, vote for John F. Kennedy uh, because of his preparation for that televised debate. Uh, the televised um, conflicts with uh, protesters that were nonviolent protesters during the civil rights movement and how that was uh, being shown to the American people through television. And so because now television is in many homes at that point in history, it was a new avenue, you know, beyond just radio broadcast and uh, newspapers. The moon landing was another big one. And we touched on that in standard 20 with the space race, uh, that the uh, landing on the moon was a, a monumental occasion. And it was something where it was uh, the kind of arrival of the United States uh, with the you know push of math and science during the um, space race. And it was, it was, we've arrived, we've done it, you know, we've made it to the moon first, uh, that, you know, frontier that was unknown. The other portion of this standard focuses on the civil rights movement and the year 1968. So the civil rights movement, I know you guys know a lot about already. Uh, you know a lot about Martin Luther King Jr., but we honed in on the, I have a dream speech and the letter from Birmingham jail. So just remember that the letter from Birmingham jail uh, was the um, written to say, listen, we've waited long enough. Uh, we have you know, pushed for equality long enough. We have tried to uh, continue to just wait and trust that this is going to be taken care of, but it's not. So these peaceful protests are going to continue and, and there's nothing wrong with that. They're okay. That's kind of what the letter was saying. Uh, the I Have a Dream speech, we mentioned that uh, that was a big component to get the civil rights Act of 1964 passed. We also discussed uh, Cesar Chavez and how um, he fought for the rights of migrant workers. Then in the year 1968, you had the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr., assassination of Robert F. Kennedy, the Tet Offensive, which was previously mentioned, the presidential elect election of Richard Nixon in 1968, the uh, riots in Chicago, the Olympics in 1968. So a lot in that one year. 